Today, Oreo and I are in Lemoyne, and we're going to be checking out Coleman Mixed Woods. This 50-acre property has about one and a half miles of intersecting trails that lead you through forest land, where you'll see a lot of different types of trees and other plants. So I thought it would be fun to try to identify some trees today. I'm still learning my trees, and so I brought with me Forest Trees of Maine. It's a very helpful resource, and this is published by the Maine Forest Service, I believe. Yes. It has color photos to help you identify different trees. Um, this time of year it's a little bit more difficult because we don't have leaves, um, though there will be some dead leaves at the base of trees that could help us out, I think. Um, and then we can look at the bark and the structure of the trees as well. So yeah. If Oreo is patient enough, we will identify some trees. <laughs> this property was donated to the Small Woodland Owners Association of Maine in 2005 by members Doug and Bev Coleman. It's a demonstration working woodlot that employs sustainable forestry practices. In addition, the Frenchman Bay Conservancy has held a conservation easement on the property since 1990. The property is used for hiking, hunting, nature walks, and snowmobiling. So this is a tree I love. It's a white cedar tree, and you can easily tell it by its kind of smooth, striated bark that's uh, kind of flaky. And um, this bark is often used as tinder for fire and to make cordage and things like that, because um, it, it peels off in little strings. I just stepped over a branch of a dead white birch and if I was in a survival situation like a fix this would be a great find because um, I can take the bark off of this dead tree and it's great fire starter um, just got like tinder to get your fire going it's very flammable even when it's a little damp so um, but don't peel the bark off of live trees if you can help it unless you're really really like in a survival situation <laughs> Throughout the hike, there are numbered signposts that will help you figure out where you are on the trail map. We are almost done with our hike. I think we've made it to every signpost thanks to a... Whoop. <laughs> Sometimes maps are available at the trailhead, um, but there weren't any today. It doesn't surprise me since it's near the end of winter um, and just not really hiking season for most people. So I used a map by Maine Trail Finder, which was linked right to the Frenchman Bay Conservancy site about this property. I think this was a great place for a quiet woods walk to check out a variety of trees, and it was an especially mossy place. So if you love moss, come check this place out. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.